to my kitchen. My name is Beverly, and today I'm joined with my brother Steve and my sister Barbara. And on today's episode of Cooking with Love, we're going to be making Zeppoli. Now, Zeppoli is an Italian fried puff pastry, which was traditionally served around the Feast of St. Joseph's, which is March 19th. St. Joseph, or San Giuseppe, is the patron saint of Sicily. His feast day is widely celebrated in Sicily, Italy, and even here in America. The zeppoli itself is made to resemble a flower, and you can put a variety of different fillings in it. Today I'm going to be showing you two kinds of fillings. The first is a cannoli cream filling, which I have done in a previous video, and the description for that will be in the link below. And today I'll show you how to make a vanilla pastry cream. All right, we ready to get started? Yes. yes. The ingredients we need to make our vanilla pastry cream are whole milk, heavy cream, sugar, granulated sugar, salt, vanilla, cornstarch, and eggs. We only use the egg yolks. You could save the whites for another time. The first step is to separate the eggs. We're going to put our egg yolks into a bowl and start whisking them. I'm going to add our cream and milk. Pan, we're going to mix the sugar and cornstarch and salt. I'm going to start adding the egg mixture until everything is incorporated and then I will add the rest of the egg mixture. We want to make sure everything is dissolved. I'm going to whisk this a little to make sure everything is mixed. And we're going to bring it over to the stove and cook it on medium heat until it thickens. All right, we have our stove on medium and we're going to start stirring this. And you have to stir this continuously to make sure that it doesn't stick. And once it's thickened, then the last step is to add the vanilla after it's done. Our cream has been cooking close to 10 minutes and it's done. I'm gonna take it off the heat and add the vanilla. Once it's well mixed, we're going to put it in a bowl and refrigerate it until cool. This is perfect. Once we put it in a bowl, we're going to cover it with plastic wrap so it doesn't get that skin over it and refrigerate it. All right. Now we want to put the plastic wrap right down onto the filling right against it so we don't get that skin on it. Now it's ready for the refrigerator to cool. The ingredients we need to make the uh, Zeppoli dough is water, shortening or Crisco, some salt, all-purpose flour, and eggs. Uh, this is a, a puff pastry or a shoe pastry. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is to uh, heat up our water with the shortening and salt and uh, then uh, add the flour and uh, cook the flour slightly. All right, we're gonna place our water in a pot on medium heat, and we're going to add the shortening 
and salt. And we're going to heat the water until the shortening melts. Our shortening is uh, just about fully dissolved now. The water is hot. And we're going to add our flour all at once. We're going to stir this in while it's still on the heat. Making sure it gets well combined. And we cook the flour just for a couple minutes. You don't want to see any dry bits of flour in here. I'm going to take it off the heat now. And we're going to allow this to cool down. Once it's cool enough, we're going to add our eggs. You want to make sure it's cooled down enough that you don't end up scrambling your eggs. I've waited about 10 minutes for our uh, cooked uh, dough to uh, cool off enough that I can add the eggs to it. I place the, the dough into a uh, stand mixer. Uh, it just makes my life easier. If you don't have a stand mixer, you could certainly mix these in with a, uh, a spoon. I'm going to add one egg at a time and mix well uh, between each egg. All the eggs have been incorporated into the dough. What we're going to do is place the dough into a piping bag and then pipe out the shape of the zeppoli onto a parchment square. Uh, when we go to fry the zeppoli, uh, we're going to drop the parchment square with the, the dough directly into the oil. And after it starts to cook, we can remove the parchment. If you don't have a, a piping bag or you choose not to use one, you, uh, you can substitute a, a Ziploc bag, fill it with the dough and then just cut off the end of it. And uh, you don't need to use a, a tip. You can just make small circles. Uh, but I prefer to use a star tip so that uh, we have a nice texture to the Zeppelin. All right, right into the oil. So I'm just going to drop the whole parchment paper with the dough right into the oil. And after they start to cook for a little while, and puff up, we can remove the parchment paper.
our, uh, we've finished frying all the uh, zeppoli and we're in the process of putting them together. So what you need to do is cut the zeppoli in half. And you can see that the zeppolis are nice and airy. It is a puff pastry. Beverly has the uh, cannoli cream filling and Barbara has the vanilla pastry cream filling. And uh, we're going to create a little uh, assembly line here mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to fill all our, our, our zeppoli. Ready, set, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> now don't be skippy, baby. Nope. And uh, we always powder them with a little bit of sugar. Fill the center. And it's yes. traditional to place a cherry in the middle. Thank you. And Barbara, just hold one up and, and show. You can see that they somewhat look like a flower. And that's, that's what we're trying to achieve here. Powdered sugar. Okay. Thank you. We've uh, finished assembling the, uh, the Zeppoli, and uh, as you can tell, they look very appealing. Uh, we're going to give it a little taste test now, and uh, before we pack up the Zeppoli, we've had multiple requests for Zeppoli already. <laughs> uh, so we're going to be uh, packing them up and distributing them to family and friends. I'm trying the pastry cream, and Steve and Barbara have the cannoli. Mmm, it's delicious. Very light. The dough is very, very light. Very good. Mm. Well worth the effort. It's nice when you do it as a, a family or as a team mm -hmm. and make many hands make light labor. We ended up getting about, uh, I would say about three dozen. Exactly. Yes, you yes. doubled the batch. Uh, and it was a double batch from the, the recipe that's posted. Mm -hmm. But we're going to continue enjoying this. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. And I will also be making a pastry. Almost. <laughs> My name is Beverly, and I'm joined today by my little son. I got it safe. Okay. My name is Beverly, and today I'm joined with my brother Steve and my sister Barb. Barb! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>